Okay, here we are in Gruyere, Switzerland. I think this is the Hotel de Chevalier. Chevalier? Chevalier? Something like that. Oh, Carmen's trying out the new facilities. <laughs> As you'll note, the room has a somewhat more rustic view to it, including a TV from the era. I'm not really sure what era that was. I think that was when moon landing. No, I think it was more prior to, to maybe moon landing era. You'll note the uh, remote control that belongs to this device. Looks more like some sort of mosaic tablet. I'm not sure. Ten Commandments may have been written on something similar. I'm not sure what that is exactly. But we do have a interesting view. This is a great view opposite building. But uh, looking out here to our right up will be the castle in the old city of Gruyere. And uh, little panoramic views out here. And go back in briefly. I want to make a couple of mental notes on our exit from Paris. We rented a car just down the street from our location in Paris, noted previously on the video as the Hotel Leveque. Nice little hotel. Uh, small, similar to this, although this one has better sheets, only two pillows instead of four. Quite an old TV. It does have a fridge, however. Not the greatest fridge in the world, but a fridge. And yes, the sniffle bottle, anti-sniffle thingy is there for me, because I seem to have sniffles. And we're moving on. Oh, another note. Uh, I hear they have free Wi-Fi where they charge you 10 euros for 24 hours in, uh, oh yes, Patty. If I can get the uh, light, excuse the uh, problem with the light switch. Here we go. And we're we do. We, once in a while it comes on here. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, now we're talking. All right. Well, I want you to note a few things. Uh, upon leaving Paris, we noted several rules which we did not note in the previous journal. One of which is the limit on the number of towels. Uh, yes, hi. Is there any way I can get an extra pillow? You are basically limited in your, on your number of towels to one towel per person, and uh, you are to reuse that towel. Also, note that in Paris, for some reason, Parisians do not know what a washcloth is. You don't have a washcloth. A uh, simple hand and some soap seems to suffice. But uh, here, the Swiss are a little more civilized, or seemingly so. We have washcloths, large towels, I might add, bath towels, very nice, uh, very nice accommodations. A shelf, um, a shelf is sizable enough to even call a shelf. Ah, mixer valves that look halfway normal. Cold, hot, they function as normal. Uh, we have a linoleum floor instead of an unfinished uh, concrete floor. A little stool. And note the uh, toilet, which has a more conventional look with a uh, tank on the back and uh, flapper valve type setup, very normal. Not quite sure why the cold line comes in at the top of the tank. Think they could hide that behind the tank, maybe. And then we have a, a hat on top of the extra roll of toilet paper. Oh, how nice. How convenient. And uh, looking around here, as you can see, again, very clean. The Parisians were clean as well. And the shower, which I did not have time to document in the uh, Hotel Levesque, but the mixer valve was uh, extraordinarily odd, let's just say. But uh, overall, absolutely nice accommodations. Small, quaint, cozy. Oh, no air conditioning. Well, Hotel Lebec did have air conditioning. And we did determine, oh, as a, as a note, at first I think we noted that the air conditioning in the Hotel Lebec was not working. In fact, it does work. It's simply that they don't turn it on until it's hot enough. What, what did the, uh, the uh, lobby, uh, what did he say? Uh, it's not hot. It's not hot enough to turn on the air conditioning. Of course, the air conditioning there was a door unit, kind of like a window unit that actually expels all the hot air into the hallway. But uh, other than that, well, we've already been to the cheese factory this morning and the Nestle factory. So we will now move on and uh, take a gander into the 
city of, or city, maybe the village, I think they call it villages around here, of Gruyere.